If you could change your name to anything, what would you change it to? Sean. Happiness. Happiness <laughs> Storm. What is happening? Man, I was very excited to do this podcast. That answer just went in so many different directions. No, let's not get into that. But let's get into it. I'm sick of you. Oh Take my forever God. answering these questions. I'm sorry. Did you hear what kind of response that was? Happiness like, is a great happiness. A name, though. Listen, when you choose a name, you're given more than seven seconds to figure it out. It reminded out. me of Jaden Smith from Pursuit of Happiness. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought of. I was like, yeah, that's a good name. Storm? Sean, just so you can be Sean. white. I mean, I, that's I'm already known as by. Sean by a lot of people. So hmm. something, I don't know, but. It's kind of confusing now because some people call me Sean and some people call you Shimmer. Yeah, and then some people call me Shamir, and it's just like, whoa, what's going on? Sometimes I forget. Like someone yells so my name. Names. Someone yells my name, and I'm like, uh, I didn't know you were calling me. Cause but to Starbucks barista girls, you're definitely Sean. Sean. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. how they know you. Yep. Yeah, I mean, what up? White girl name Storm. Yeah, actually, that's a dope name. Yeah, yeah actually, I um in high school. Uh, my sister knew this guy, and I was uh, the first day I met him. She introduced me, and um, she was like, "This is Storm." I was like, "No way!" And he talked really quietly, like this. He was like, "What's up, I'm Storm?" And I was like, "That's a crazy name, Storm." What? Shivers. His Ooh, name is Storm, no. Storm Shivers. Get this. That day that I met him, it was raining. It was storming. No, not way. only raining, it was storming. Wow. I was dropping him at his house, and the whole time. Were you anytime shivering? he talks, <laughs> anytime he talks, I have to turn the music down. I was like, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. And then um, he would say something like just crazy. He would say very like short sentences. But then I'm like, um, why do you talk so quietly? And he's like, so that people listen. I was like, Ooh, I was like, wow. dog, AF. dog, you're tripping me out. Oh my God. Um, all right, guys. Welcome to another episode of Strange Flavors. This is brought to you by Aleph Theory. My name is Faraz. My name is Shimmer. My name is Amber. Thanks, everybody, for uh, tuning in. Uh, all the newcomers and the people that are now loyal fans. They're actually calling themselves loyal fans. So oh, it's pretty yeah. dope. Uh, this is actually an episode of Strange Exchange. We've done one before, uh, but this is just kind of like the three of us. We'll sit here for um, the whole episode and just kind of catch up on things and uh, talk to each other. We do this like maybe like once in a mo- once a month or you know maybe once in a while, but... It's just nice. Let us know if you guys like this. Uh, so we'll continue doing it once in a while after like a series of guests. Um, do you guys like doing it? I love doing it. Okay. I actually really like the strange exchanges. It's like it lets us get a couple of extra things. Yeah. Out also, there. like when a guest comes in, it's yeah. like I do want to bring in my own experiences, but mm. I kind of limit that. Right. Because you want to let yeah, them mm-hmm. let them talk. Tell their story. Right. But now we have the freedom to do it. You got a yeah. whole hour to talk here. Yeah. And the intros, it's just like we got to. Yeah. Quickly wrap up things, but yeah, we got we got some times. But um yeah, if you're if you're uh listening, if you haven't left us a review yet, it would really help us out if you just go on the podcast app and just leave a review real quick. It takes just a second. Do um, it. And if you or somebody that you know makes music, uh tell them to email us uh strange flavors podcast at gmail dot com and we'll actually play the music on an episode. Oh snap. Uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and now IG as well. If you don't know, uh, follow us there, and we'll uh, send. Uh, we'll be posting little uh, clips of things and fun stuff. But um, something of really IG, cool. Yeah. Speaking of IG, who wants to uh, win some T-shirts? Oh snap! Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing this contest, guys. Uh, contest all you got to do. Giveaway. It's a giveaway. It's a contest. contest it's, a, it's a contest. Okay. Okay. It's a giveaway slash contest. Right. Um, oh yeah, because we're gonna choose which one we like best. Continue. Yeah. Go ahead. So just yeah. be sure that you're following us on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And um, on the most recent Instagram post, we will have, um, or you will be commenting on the most recent one, and you'll see because it'll say the giveaway or contest. Uh, just comment what you think your flavor is and why. And then we'll take a look at them and uh, we'll choose our top three and we'll send you guys shirts. No, You don't have to pay for shipping or anything. Absolutely free. Yeah. Uh, you get a shirt that has our cool ice cream logo on it. And get deep with these flavors and these explanations. Yeah. I, I want to read these. Yeah. I'm always curious to know. Um, so that'll be happening till uh, next week. So you'll have a week to do the contest. Yes. This previous week Ooh. was not the luckiest for right. me. Why it was just, that? it was so weird. So, oh, right. Well, no, that's what you know. But like, okay, so first, I gorilla glued my fingers. Wait, how what? and why? <laughs> I was trying to fix a trash can, right? And you know how like you stepped at the bottom? 
for the lid to pop up right so i was trying to fix that part and it was just like the little thing was broken so i was like trying to gorilla glue it together but then did um, you use your fingers to hold it together yes while you, okay good job i was well i was telling my brother to come over and help me and then he wouldn't and the only way you could hold him together i couldn't put a clip over it or anything it was not enough space so i was holding it with my fingers and then i was like okay which if fingers? I let, what do you mean which fingers like your pointer fingers point finger and thumb right my thumb and my uh, oh, okay did yeah. it get stuck to the trash can or just to each other with the fingers yeah well no because the gorilla glue it's like uh you have to wait a while for it to harden Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, if I move it in like, you know, 15 minutes, it'll be fine. Because then after the 15 minutes, at least this part will be together and then my fingers will be good. So anyways, I was, um, you know, that scraper thing like you have in the shower that like you right. yeah. get off whatever dry skin. And I don't mm -hmm. know what you really do with it, honestly. But um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting there like <laughs> using that on my fingers and using like a nail file and all types of things. It wasn't working, but I, it was... It was, uh, it took a while. I finally got it off and then my fingers were like really bad afterwards. But then the next day I got a uh, white out on my nose. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> did you scrape off your skin trying to take it off? Yeah, I did. So, but my, uh, my touch ID still works on my phone. So oh. it's all good. Nice. Yeah. So then, um, Wait, what happened? What would your touch ID? Oh, the glue. Glue. The Cause right, right. I was like, oh, I'm not going to have fingerprints. I was like, you don't this. have facial recognition. Like, <laughs> what um, and then I got hot oil on my arm. Wait, why, wow. how, when, <laughs> for what reason? Y'all know, y'all know, yeah. Okay. Y'all know the grind. I, uh, I'm serving on the weekends, but this oh. last weekend, yeah, okay. last weekend they were like, yo, um, so we got some new cooks. Like we need you to step in on the grill. So, so this is his job, by the way. Yeah. So, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll shift around sometimes. I'll, I'll do different things. So I was, um, I was on the grill cooking and then this huge splash of oil on my arm and i'm just like this just is taking not, this it is not, in this is, did your hair come off like no, my hair it wasn't hair on my on face arm, on my, hair on your arm oh yeah. uh yeah pro well it was at the bottom so i like oh, okay it wasn't at the top part but yeah and then yesterday i got towed <laughs> so nice. we came here yesterday because me and david were shooting <laughs> music please and we're walking and david was like oh yeah we parked this way and i was like she's oh, saying they were like my brother yeah that that and he was <laughs> like yeah we parked over there i was like oh where and he tells me i was like y you know it just turned six and from four to six it's a no parking zone so if your car's not there that means it's towed we walk over there his car's nowhere to be seen oh my she God. thought i was messing with her yeah i was like are you sure i was you supposed don't to drop her off at school too oh and i was like so where and then it, it was a lot that was expensive because <laughs> i was like Okay, so she's she had to go to school in a bit, and um, I was like, okay, so it's four. It was like four or five. It was when six, we got there. It was six. No, no, when we got there to what, the thing. No, when we came here. Oh, you guys got here at like four oh five, four ten. Okay, so yeah, I was like, okay, so I think I remember Amber saying something about in front of May One, like you can park for free or something like that. So I parked there, and then I looked at the meter, and I was like, okay, so till four, yeah, I'm good. I didn't even read the like top part or anything that it said like no, oh, parking no parking from four, four to six. six like just that period of time there's because no it's so trafficy over there yeah. that like they need all those lanes and but yeah for us only read the <laughs> bottom part and even though there's, there's literally three signs there that say no parking and i've, four to I've six. never i've never gotten like even a parking ticket before Coming to the obviously city. i've never gotten but i towed. think it was overdue i think you needed a parking yeah ticket. maybe it adds yeah. up maybe like it was overdue yeah yeah because yeah. <laughs> you you guys we, we've been doing the podcast for a while now you guys come here every week and you guys haven't gotten tickets yet you guys you need, want us to get a stick no but like i get a ticket once a month how is it that you guys haven't gotten because we're yet? She's, parking. she's saying that like all her parking tickets combined probably equal whatever um finally i have to pay <laughs> well, wait really yeah. which was a decent he had to pay can, can i say how much you have to pay it's like 300 bucks it was oh 300 dollars and, and <gasps> literally it was 270 for the um no it was like 175 for just getting the car towed then you probably got a ticket on top of that right because I don't, you know, I don't know i was just like <laughs> and then a fee probably too using was, cards and stuff like oh that but God. um yeah i mean it it happens yeah like there's nothing you can do at that point yeah and it's like i've i've just never cared about money in that way i mean i'm not careless with money but it's like <laughs> she gets towed not, every time i don't know i don't blow money but i'm like you know when things like that happen it's like you know it's just money yeah. he's like oh, so. can i say the line Expensive for ballet. our brown friends no what okay. does that mean in, in big cities there's always small problems yeah 
yeah. if yeah i mean it's it's such a small thing like if you think about it and if you like i mean it, it depends how you look at it but it's like for me personally it's like money has always come back around right. where it's like if there's any you know time in life where it's like a huge chunk has to go to some place that you didn't really ask for you know i've gotten my car hit so many times like i've never been um in an accident but i've all i've gotten my car you know hit by all types of angles and everything like that and it's it's like a hassle and everything like that and it takes out a lot of time and money from your own part too but um you know like i i've never it, it's never stopped me from like doing anything spending it on something that like i like spending money on other people and like i like giving money away but it's it, that has never stopped me from being like you know oh i shouldn't be donating to a charity right. or something like that just because i lost this much but it's just it's crazy like how that works like it's always come back around mm -hmm. even if there's yeah. like a time where um you feel like there's nothing left in your bank account like this something will come out of nowhere and yeah. i feel like that's just you know how like there's bad karma i feel like there's good karma and so it's it practical. always works out but mm -hmm. yeah money is it's money is not happen a sometime. it happens it happens and it's just like if you deal with it the right way it's nothing yeah. it's you, all about you your attitude it's nothing. Facts. i was over here like frost i'm so sorry he's like it happens <laughs> i was like okay that's what i thought when you lost my gopro <laughs> <laughs> go back to like Spend, the and, it back and it came back up where i was a guest they called they were like yo we got your gopro they even paid for shipping i didn't hey, pay hey, anything no, no. for shipping L and let's let them go back to the episode where i was a guest and they'll hear about it okay um <laughs> but the worst thing not even the towing or anything the worst thing that happened this week was this dead rat oh my god rat. shamir and i Gosh. shamir okay. and i were in this well you 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 say it okay so we were in the city we we're taking pictures for a certain thing and we were on like the harbor area that sounds so bad <laughs> for a certain thing <laughs> we were doing our first uh, nude shoot so <laughs> <laughs> Kind of. It's like not... <laughs> can i say that whatever i already said it no it's secret <laughs> I already said it's it. illuminati keep going right, okay <laughs> it was a harbor right very yeah. nice scenery and i like brought my skateboard i'm doing tricks i'm taking pictures of frost like in front of birds and there's poop everywhere it's beautiful scenery <laughs> and um then frost is like in a certain angle and he's like taking pictures of me and then like how'd you discover it? you look look to your right, right by my foot bro right by his foot he sees a dead, not a dead rat. It's a live it was rat. A, it was a dying, dying oh, rat. Whoa. Technical Testing. difficulties. Testing. Technical. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. Guys, we have technical difficulties. Uh, Frost is now online. Um, don't cut this part out because <laughs> it's genuine. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> anyways. Right, it's in. So. It was, yeah, it was right by my foot. It was right by his foot and it was squirming like around. It oh. Was, like, oh, it wasn't dead. Oh my it God, I'm seeing it again. It was alive. I'm it was, seeing it, it again. Was, like, it was like and it was ready breathing. to die. It was breathing. It was ready to die. Yeah, and okay. it was trying to get up and like run away, Aww. but it couldn't. No, and, not all. And I was like, oh, and, <laughs> and Frost was like, Ugh, uh. I was screaming. And I jumped up on like the ledge. <laughs> by it. Oh my god! And I was like, yo, what's wrong? And he's like, it's a dead rat, bro. And I'm like, <laughs> uh, I like this it. person. It's a dead rat, bro. <laughs> I don't deal with rats. Man. It's rats, man. I can't deal with okay, it. Okay, let me just say that if you're in the city, DC, Baltimore, anywhere you go, any big city, city, um, you're gonna have rats. And, fine. And listen, fine. listen. But it's you're gonna still have, disgusting. I get it. But at some point, you're just gonna have to accept it. Like now, I think they're cute. I'm like, hey, little buddy, when they walk. No, by. they will never be cute. Let me tell you, they're in my first apartment, there was a little uh, my, it was a little mouse. Okay? And he used to just like walk by me. I, I I bought a bunch of traps. It wouldn't fall into any of them. So eventually he became my friend and was just like walking around the house. I'd do my makeup and I'm like, hey, buddy. Like, you just have to accept it at that's, some point. Rat that's lady. Disgusting. We got rat lady right rat now. Rat lady. Um, <laughs> she's a superhero. Rat god. <laughs> rat, I was rat very, god. I was I'm very becoming. scared of mice and rat rats god. and all that until I moved into the city. Oh, my God. <laughs> I need both of you rat guys. Rat god. Hush. Rat god. <laughs> All my rats from the front to the back, <laughs> not <laughs> extra. There, I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. That thing, it's just a gross creature. I think rodents in general. Like I don't. If you got a hamster at your house, I don't like your hamster. David either. Dobrik, I, we gotta get one in. So I asked this Frost. question earlier. No. I, I asked this question earlier to Frost and Amber, and I said I would rather have a rat than a tarantula. Oh, any no day, any day, any, any day, any day, any day. You can't. Okay, so with a if you see a tarantula walk Ooh. around your house, right? Oh, oh my god! You can easily put it in a box, in a jar, or whatever, and just get. Or it can jump it. on your face and. Do they jump? They can. Some do. Yeah. 
Okay, but still, I think it's they move a lot slower than a freaking rat just pacing. Oh my god, the see, see, I can't, I can't. The do, fuzziness. You bro. guys are the fuzziness. Oh my yo, god, you guys are dumb, yo. Like rats so are what? cute. Fuzziness. Right. A rat is a freaking <laughs> cute. full on fuzzy. Like, it's nice not cute. Eyes. They're cute. They have a nice. They have tail. a long tail. Nice tail. <laughs> <laughs> You're joking. You're joking. I'm not right joking. Now. It's this not is, that bad. It's I th- I think what's worse is that like rats they ju- it, it they defines, actually dump, it defines jump and, you know, disgustingness can... like in the area yeah. that's and they it. have diseases that's it but like them itself why do they live in those areas okay, because those areas are disgusting yeah but it's the area it's not right? the rat itself they're po- okay but still like a a, a scorpion is <laughs> poisonous yeah they're and I'm never too. gonna keep a scorpion as a pet yeah but you, okay you can get a mouse from a pet store and also put it in a cage and it'd be perfectly fine. Like what? What's not, the need? Some animals are not supposed to like. I had a hamster and it was pretty close to a mice. It's not like a mice. pet. It's just, it's okay. just filth. We've been talking about care, rats whatever. for too long. Whatever. Yeah, 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 I'm done with this. They're gross. They're Screw cute. Screw rats. Me and two over one. This is a majority rule. Shams and I think they're cute. Yeah. Whatever. We asked you rats. I mean strangers. <laughs> 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 we asked some of you guys um to send us in questions if you want to know anything about us or. Uh, just just thought provoking questions if you'd like um, and you sent them in uh, thank you for doing so so we'll go over some of them I have the list right over here um, some and people chose to be anonymous so that's fine we won't say the name I'm um, scared and we haven't me and Shams haven't like seen, seen, them. These you haven't seen the questions at all. so these are genuine answers yeah yeah I mean I just screenshotted them too I wasn't like hmm let me uh, think of a nice yeah. response here but yeah I mean they're pretty um, they're they range uh, the questions uh, from like you know specific stuff to just kind of generic stuff. So, okay. Our first one comes from Sirith from Twitter. And she says... What's up, girl? She actually... She, she, she's, she's a loyal... She likes she's a loyal so fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She, yeah. she yeah. likes my shout tweets. Out. You're I awesome. See her shout out, Sirith. You're, yeah. You're, you're great. So, shout out to uh, Sirith. Uh, she says... She asks, when, where, how did you three meet? This is a popular question that we just Yo, let's get keep from random secret. people. Keep it secret? Keep it secret. I mean, you said it on your episode already. That's that was true. me and you. Yeah, they, how they can you go I back. Mean. They can go back to that because I mean, it's, it's a long story. Yes, yeah, so and just, I want them to like listen the to gist. the whole story. Let's just give, give a gist. gist. I, I don't like gist. She sent in no. a question. I don't like it's, gist. It's, it needs emotional. Not a gist guy. An emotional. You know, it's not that emotional. It's, okay, an, it's yeah, a very emotional. This. Okay, short story. Frost's sister and my clo- family friends set up a blind date. Okay. Yeah. True. True. Yeah. True. True. And for me, I went to a show at MSA at the Towson's MSA, and Frost was performing. And I went up to him to talk to him about how I do videos. And you're looking Amber, at me. But, and I go up to him and I oh said, hey, uh, I like your performance, whatever. I also make videos. If you ever need someone, let me know. And he goes, I have my own friends, but thanks. That, <laughs> I'm sick of you saying that. It's in this, true. That's, no, did not I was happen. there. That was... did not happen. I said, that's, I remember you told me that. And I was like, oh my God, that's so dope. And I was just at the time, it was like, my sister was asking for my attention. Well, and okay, she mind was- you, I forgot to mention that. Also, um, I've been friends with Frost's sister, and I didn't know that they were siblings until that day. And then when I was talking to him earlier, Neha actually mentioned to me, she's like, hey, my brother's here, I want you to meet him. And then I had already went up and talked to you, and she's like, hey, this is my brother. I was like, oh, I had no clue. So, you know yeah. you know why what you're saying is a lie, why? straight up? Why? Because I would never say something like that, because the first day I met him, I asked him to perform at a show with me. I did I ever say anything to you like, oh yeah, dude, like me and my friends make these videos. Yeah, but and, like, like it might be because like I'm a girl and I just approach no! you at the random and like you guys are set up through friends. Neha didn't prep you yet. Okay, here's here's probably what happened. You probably were like, um, we were probably talking for a while, and then I was like, oh, what do you do and stuff? And you said like, yeah, like I make these videos by myself and stuff. And then I probably was like, oh yeah, like I make them with some friends. That's uh-huh. probably what no. happened. I was like, if <laughs> you ever need key. someone, let me know. You're like, yeah, I have my own friends. That is not <laughs> true. That is definitely okay. not true because I'm always down for collaborating with people. Um, and then, you're yeah. a liar and you're not allowed to say that part of the story anymore because it's not true. But anyways, our friendship kind of blossomed. Them two were performing after that and then just kind of we were all friends and then... And I've we known were- Amber... For a couple of as, years. As a, what is it called? Uh, friend of a friend. Friend of a friend. There's like a specific word. Oh my gosh. I'm blanking out. Anyways. Of yeah. A second friend. Like a second cousin. Acquaintance. There you go. Acquaintance. She was okay. an acquaintance. Yeah. And uh, then, yeah. 
Yeah, and then eventually we well, we all were the only ones out of all of our friends who were kind of like making making stuff. content and stuff. And then we and just, I was watching your videos before. Yeah, you like, were, and you used to comment on was, my videos I was too. Su- I was very supportive. Yeah, yeah it was really cute. I didn't even know that her. was your Splashbox channel. Yeah, and I didn't even know her like that, but I was like, yo, like she's making videos. That's awesome. Yeah, I that should was support that. And so. then eventually, what we just frost started making this podcast with well brown the, well, we made brown yeah code. oh yeah okay whoa, whoa 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 where am i going we made brown code season one and season two yeah yeah and we made types of people in ramadan yeah, yeah. and okay yeah that's it right yeah yeah i mean okay, we cool. just like over Shamir the course and I, of two years we made some stuff together yeah shamir and i were like you know pretty deep in with the ronopono stuff at this point uh he would come over and uh stay at my house like every weekend or like every week or some something yeah. um and we were just like pushing out content and then we were like uh we want to you know collaborate with other people and we were like yo we definitely need amber that would be cool and, and then, then I, we were like all hanging out as like a giant friend group yeah and so then we're like yo like we should incorporate amber and come up with an idea all together yeah and then Excellent. yeah so yeah that's uh that that's was a fun. long explanation <laughs> but <laughs> thank you Siraj, for that question yeah. yeah um okay so next question comes from Lion Dylan on Snapchat and she says just wanted to or sorry I don't know she or he <laughs> Dylan yeah, I, I just kind of I kind of just assumed there but you thought um, Dylan was a girl well I've, I mean that's I, I have kids at my job yeah. who are both girls and guys that are Dylan that's the most awesome. recent Dylan I know Charlie. is a girl so okay okay sub L- Dylan he, we're she. just gonna we're just gonna say it's, it's a lion What's because lion? we're not gonna assume the lion's gender all yeah. right Right. Lion Dylan says, just wanted to say that I started listening to Strange Flavors on Monday and I'm done with every episode. Oh my Aww, god, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, I honestly enjoyed it. It's become a favorite. Which Keep one's your up favorite? The great Which work. one's your favorite episode? Is it mine? <laughs> oh my um, god. <laughs> and then I enjoy listening to new strangers each week, but I'd enjoy if three episodes were dedicated to the faces behind the podcast. We we actually like Ooh. Shamir and Amber uh had their own podcast. Yeah. Like oh, they were guests before I mean who cares? Maybe but. one strange exchange we can like dedicate a section to just asking yeah, questions. Yeah, I'm good. No thanks. But okay. your episode is called "We're Getting Roasted on Twitter." Yeah. Shamir's episode is called "We're Getting Roasted on Twitter," um, and then Amber's is called uh, "Inside of Me is Nutella." <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think Amber said that, so um, <laughs> that does not have to do with her episode. But yeah, we um, yeah th- those episodes are dedicated to you know who they are and what they do. Um, okay, let's see. This is this is a very long. Uh, question slash uh commentary but we is we appreciate anonymous? the love yeah we appreciate the love um but okay so no this is still lying dylan so oh, okay, okay the okay. question is it's just very long so i'll just get straight to the question it says um i'm an old fan i've been following up with your content for quite a while and i was wondering does it ever get discouraging to see the lack of exposure slash recognition you've been receiving for example when people don't get the numbers or views they desire they tend to quit creating their content however with you and along with your friends y'all continue to do what you do um and then she says continues kind of she that explanation he. or he i don't know sorry i'm sorry um what's your guys answers? What, do you, what do you think do you want to start okay well for me it's i don't get discouraged at all because i've been already doing this for a while like no one's been watching my stuff for like a while so it's like mm. i love doing it for the sake of doing it and i feel like i put out good content it just hasn't been seen yet so it's not discouraging. But like you still one, have like one a d- bit of a loyal following now. Yeah, yeah. But one day, like, I know... It'll work. It'll work. And I just have faith in myself and all the people around me, so... Nice. That's my take. Should what I go? What about you? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I think that it was discouraging at a point just because I was making videos, but I was very sporadic with them, so I can't blame the numbers on anyone else but myself. Yeah. But I definitely do think that it is kind it kind of just like pushes you off a little when you're like when you wish you were at a certain place and you're not but i definitely think like us as a team has kind of helped me like shape my vision a little bit more like it makes you more motivated it's motivating to come to this podcast every week because there's three of us it's motivating to like you know like even editing like the video podcast like it's it's like i have two people relying on me and i've never had someone relying on me with my own content and i think that like i work well with pressure too so I do think I, I think the whole like team mentality is like really really good for me and like mm. I've always worked in a team it's just not with my videos so now that it is like kind of like that it's like 
very encouraging. <coughs> Put out more videos. <coughs> I'm getting there, but like I'm on Musically right now, so like leave me alone. <laughs> That's true, though. I um, it's definitely like helps having people rely on you. Um, that goes with when you're um, sort of like in that phase where you don't know if you want to continue doing this creative stuff. Um, you don't have the motivation there and stuff, but it's like when you have those deadlines and you have people relying on you, it definitely encourages you to like keep going. And then at least you're always pushing out content. Yeah. Um, for your question, as far as uh, like views and stuff, uh, I've never cared about views as much as I have about uh, feedback. Feedback, yeah. So yeah. if I know that a video is good, um, you know, the, the views, that's, that should be um, us taking it as like, what can we do? Uh, how can we work harder to get this out there? And that's not like, that's not up to anybody else but us. Um, you know, if you're somebody that likes our stuff, you can't do anything to uh, get those views up besides just, you know, tell other people and continue watching us. But um, as far as like not having the motivation or something, I think like it, I always just try to put it on myself and be like, you know, what can I do? to uh, bring this to the next level and what is that next level um, if people are truly saying that they enjoy the content then I don't feel like I'm doing anything wrong that's not discouraging you know if people do have a problem with the content that's being produced then it's like okay well um, do we need to change mm -hmm. what we're doing here do we need to like focus on a different audience but yeah um, you know of course there's ups and downs mm -hmm. yeah. all the time uh, based off of feedback that's I think what it comes down to is like you know, even if you have one person watching your video and that person says that it's bad, you could completely stop doing what you're doing because you're like, all right, well, um, yeah. it hasn't pleased that one person. So right. that's it. That's it for me. But the more people you have looking at your stuff, then you look at the ratio is like, you know, what are most people saying? And so, yeah, but like, it's a I challenge. do want to add in there that like views on have been terrible, like especially for you guys. You guys have had a lot of viral videos and even like brown code. I'm kind. I'm satisfied with what views we got. Also, the types of people in Ramadan, like totally satisfied with the amount of views we got. So, mm. you know, it's more on like the specific, like random types of content that you won't get like desirable amount of yeah. views. But and I think you have to like overall, set the like. I think it's pretty good. Definitely, yeah. And we're very thankful for that. It's like I think you have to set these expectations beforehand, where it's like you know when you're working on a video super hard, but it's an original video. Um, you're not going to get the views there. But it's yeah. like, do you want to make the best type of video that you can? For example, the whole brown coat thing, like obviously no one's done that before. So when we're putting it out for the first time and we're introducing this idea to people, yeah. then we have to be ready to um, have a lower view count. It's like a risk you have to be willing to yeah. take. Definitely. But you're starting something new. Yeah. But then it's like with some of these uh, parody videos and things like, you know, trending topics, you never know what's going to work yeah. out and what's not. Right. Like, a video that we could spend, you know, days making um, and put in a bunch of editing efforts and all that kind of stuff could get like nothing. And then we make a video like Bandu, which was made in um, the matter of 15 minutes, maybe uh, while people were walking in and out the door. We were like, hey, you want to be in the video? Sure. Go ahead. Recorded it super quick and just put it out, not expecting anything. And that got views. And that was our, well, that was like. Our first experience first, together, first video together, going viral, right? First video together and first, experience and it going. and it went like yeah. viral. So which was I have cool. a question to build upon that. Yeah, what is your like? How do you guys feel after like a viral quote unquote success? How do I feel? Yeah, mm. like how, how do, does it affect you? How do how do you feel? My initial feeling is just like, how do I keep this going? Okay, yeah. like that video or like no, other videos? like the next what, video? like what do I do next? How do okay. I? Yeah, Amber. Yeah. I guess the main type of thing that I could say about that would be types of people in Ramadan. Yeah. And that was really cool to have like people at my mosque and people at school just be like, oh yeah, like, you know, people who I don't usually come across like to say, it. I don't know, just, it was nice yeah. because you get recognition for something you've been doing for years. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's like the first time or like the first two, two or three times I was like, oh my gosh, like we're, we're famous, like we're crazy. <laughs> like, I, I was going crazy. And then I guess now it's like kind of like, okay, I'm expecting it. Yeah. And if it doesn't happen, then it's like, okay, whatever. Like we already had those successes mm -hmm. and I'm sure we can do it again. Mm -hmm. And, but there's, there's also like something that's always going on in my mind. Like if I walk outside, will someone recognize me? You know? Okay. Like, I, I don't know. And yeah. it's, it's happened. Cause that happens. It happens. Right. Like we were in Texas and like people noticed us because of a video yeah. on YouTube that didn't even have that much views 
uh, versus Facebook, which had like a lot more. So, hmm. and uh, I think we went to meet one of our friends in Pennsylvania, and it was the the reactors from Fine Brothers, and one of the reactors that like we didn't even know personally has seen our video before. Yeah. So we don't even know who's seen our videos. Who's or seeing not. it, and yeah. and just who's keeping an eye on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, our next question comes from Sam from I think IG. Uh, he says, is the hokey pokey what it's really all about? <laughs> oh, true. Yeah. I mean, if the song says it, I'm just going to go with the twerk. What was the hokey pokey know. again? Do the hokey you pokey. Put I, know the, I know the song. Then you put your right. Oh. But like, what was the dance? It was a dance, right? You put, you literally put na, body parts na, na, in na, and then you take na, them out na, and then you do the hokey pokey na, na, and you na, na, na. turn it all around. What it's so. all about. Okay. Hokey it's not pokey. what it's all about because I don't remember it. So. Okay. Um. Well, I it mean, is. it gets my kids engaged. So, I mean, not my kids, but like, you know. You the still kids do it? With. Yeah, yeah. You still all do all those oh, tricks? Oh, yeah. I, I, Cotton all Eye Joe? <laughs> tricks. Cotton Eye Joe? Cotton Eye Joe is too old for the age group oh, that I work that's, with. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. I so things get old. Things no, 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 no. Oh. Age range age old. Range. Not... Okay, so people still use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in Dang. middle school. That's crazy. I hate that song so much. Cotton Eye Joe. No, 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 it was no, so no. corny. Like, it was the corniest thing ever. And they're like, kids, do the cotton Wait, but like, I like doing it because I knew it. <laughs> it's like, it's like a, um, it's like a white mom's thing. Like, yeah. And, and, uh, what's that one song? It's Margarita. like, two hops this time. Oh, yeah. Boom. Uh, cha cha slide. Cha -cha they slide. they love that song. They go, <laughs> yeah. everybody on the dance floor. <laughs> and then like wobble is like the cooler version of all of them. Yeah, yeah but they're always like these set of uh, corny songs that people love. You know another one that I don't like that like they would always play at school dances, prom, and like any event where like it's just electric everybody slides. Goes, Soldier boy. Well, yeah, n yeah, but even <laughs> worse, it's um journey. What is uh, it? Oh, Trains. Right? Yeah. Um, just a small town. It's girl. just Wait, a small why? town, girl. You like that song? It's, yeah. God, I hate that song. I like it. I think it's a good song. It's just like, I guess maybe the, the scene has ruined it. Yeah. The scene has I think just everybody it. reacting to it. And like, they're like, oh my God. Every single time I've ever about? been in a room where like that song plays, somebody uh, grabs my face and sings it in my face. And that really makes me mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do that next time. Seriously. Like, it's so annoying. Like, everybody feels the need to just like sing every word. All right. Anyways. Uh, the hokey pokey, um, no. yeah, it is what it's Final, all about. Final uh, if, Disagree. If if uh, money is what it's all about, that is what it's all about. Like it is whatever you think it's all about. So if you think the hokey pokey is what it's all about, disagree. Do your hokey pokey, homeboy. Soldier boy is all what it's all about. Okay. <laughs> uh, next question uh, uh, from an anonymous source from Snapchat. <laughs> um, oh, snap -sizzle. So there's there's a question. There's two questions for everyone, and then there's two questions for me. Uh, there's a ton of questions listed here, but. I'm only gonna pick two because it's like that's too many. Um, okay, so for everyone, what are your top three pet peeves? Ooh. Oh, I I was just thinking about this like a couple of days ago. Oh, when someone tells me to like put away my camera. Really? Yeah. I I could see how that would bother you though. <laughs> oh my gosh! And it, <laughs> like an adult, like mm -hmm. in a store or something, like, put away your camera. No, 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 no. That's what? fine. Like I understand that, but like I'm like trying to document the moment like oh this is awesome this is amazing and they're like dude put the camera away enjoy the time like oh okay i'm about mm -hmm. to punch you in the face like, <laughs> don't tell shams to do it and then two it's like when when a very like old uncle's like oh you look like you need food like here's it takes food man uh, Beta, you need a flashback to brown code when and he says I'm, eat two panthers yeah, back in the day <laughs> exactly like i'm about to slap you he <laughs> The disrespect to the What's your third one? Dang, you have you know them off the top of your head. Third, um, I gotta thank you guys. Go. I have way too. I just um, I'm. I'll just say one pet peeve is that I have so many pet peeves. Um, I'm like I'm the I'm the low key savage type of dude that's like, um, I'm always thinking something that's just bothering the crap out of me. It'll be small things, but also it's because you're also like a perfectionist. too. Yeah, like I have that OCD where it's just like you know um. Yo, you should be, you should fix that strand in your hair or something like that. But I'm not gonna like tell you, you know. But um, yeah, it's always stuff like that. Or like, if somebody says something, you know, small talk. Like small talk is whack to me, because um, ask me a real question, not something like, yeah, it looks like it's pretty wet outside when it's raining. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, and then I, I'll just like, but also I make tips off the stuff, so I'm a good small talker, but a fake small talker. Yeah. But um. 
I'll like pretend to laugh or something, but in my head, I'm like, you, you're the corniest dude I've ever met in my life. Don't say that to me. Don't ever walk around saying anything like that ever again. Because nobody's going to think it's funny. I'm laughing at it now, so you give me a 20. But other than that, it's not oh, that yeah. real. It's not that deep. That's my biggest pet peeve is that I have too many pet peeves. <laughs> <laughs> Extra. You want to name one? You can't eat. To be honest, not a lot of things bother me. Oh, because, that's good. You're like the opposite of me. Yeah, like, I, like I'm very flexible with like a lot of people just having like random characteristic traits that are like specific to them. Yeah. I think a lot of the only times that I get bothered by something is like conjuicy, like like cheap, like like people who like English English. Uh, um, that's cheap. Yeah, cheap. Right? cheap. Like like very cheap people. Selfish, like people who are selfish, selfish, selfish. selfish. Like, yeah. Because okay. like I'm a person Scrooge. who like get, like will gives set open. gives and like Definitely. will like you know like engage everyone yeah. and you know but when someone like only thinks about themselves like that bothers me a lot mm. but i think that's the only like big yeah. thing i could think about yeah you're you're pretty much a go with the flow type of person yeah i'm i mean when it comes to like doing work and stuff like that and like how people run things yeah i'm the same way when when it comes to pet peeves i'm i'm it's like things that somebody will say yeah or, yeah it's not like anything that affects mm -hmm. anybody's workflow or like anything like I, that. Well, I guess my third pet peeve. Oh, he's got <laughs> Go ahead. She's got so It's like someone who judges like people oh, when they don't yes. know enough. Mm -hmm. Like you don't know what that person's gone through. Like sure, we all make judgments and mm -hmm. stuff. But like it's not something like, oh, you know, you're like this type of person. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, maybe from the surface. I get it. But like sometimes they're very harsh and they don't yeah. realize it. But yeah. Like a blanket statement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the second question for everyone is, where do you see your, yourselves in 10 years? Mm. I don't think that far because, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I have, uh, that's genuine. Or where do you want to see yourself in 10 years? Successful, making money, <laughs> owning yeah. a house maybe. When I was a kid, like they made that write us uh, or what will be in 10 years on our yeah. yearbook. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to be a doctor with a Lamborghini. <laughs> and like 10 years later and I'm like, nothing nah, nothing close yeah. so yeah yeah because like if you asked me five years ago where i'd see myself i had like a completely like like i was i would be wrong yeah. like super wrong mm. in 10 years how would i how old would i be like 33 mm, yeah. i don't know i have maybe like, adopting my first kid would that be cool true yeah. that's awesome i have yeah. goals that like i want to be but they don't have time limits like i want to be this i want to be this i want to have this but, yeah. but like if i set a time limit it kind of limits me yeah. You know? Also, I think like it could happen way sooner period. or it can happen way later. So I don't think in t uh, times of time spans, I think of times of goals. I also think it applies like in like, like what part of your life are you in yeah. and what are you going to accomplish in that part of your life? And then I feel like you can make yeah, like kind good. of goals as you progress, but you won't know, know where you will be in one year. Like last year, I had no idea I'd be doing this podcast and a lot of my week becomes revolving around the podcast like yeah. you know it's like you have to kind of go with it how it goes yeah i like that i like that yeah. because i like the spontaneous things that happen in life exactly um making trips to a random place that i've never been before um and i, I would never get to do those things i would never get to watch these movies i would never get to meet certain people um or read books that like i never thought if i if i put that in my plan it would it would ruin it because then i miss everything around me Mm -hmm. And I'm very much about like living in the moment. So I would, I don't even want to plan about like next month. I just yeah, want to like, exactly. I like, I like things, how, how they come. And if I think of something, if I want to do something, I want to do it now. And it, and it makes you more creative if you think like that. No doubt. Like it's just out of the box type stuff. Yeah. Gaynath on Instagram wants a shout out. Shout out Gaynath. Shout out Gaynath. Uh, Gaynath. Uh, what is her name? <laughs> KT Kureshi uh, 12, is it? I don't know, but don't give her a full shout out. She ain't ish. <laughs> she wanted the shout out. <laughs> There's your shout out. Love you, um, Kai. She of, is asking, what advice would you give to those who want to start a podcast? Hmm. Just start. Just Good start. question. Just start. Yeah, I'd agree with but you. Ha but use how? Your phone. Use your phone. Use your phone. There's an yeah, Anchor yeah. app or voice memos, mm -hmm. but use the app Anchor. That's like yep. the greatest thing. And it puts your podcast straight on the podcast app mm -hmm. without you editing or anything. And don't worry about the details. Like just yeah. kind of start, I feel like. Yeah. I mean, you kind of have, have an idea for us. If you have an idea, then pursue it. Yeah. But like, yeah. yeah. Um, I think as far as, well, that's, that's great advice. Um, but also like, I think when you're, when it's talking about a podcast, if you listen to podcasts and you kind of know how they work and everything, 
um yeah it's great to just start but also like know where yeah. you want to take it um start thinking about uh the structure people structure anybody that you'd want to be on it are you going to want to do it by yourself are you going to be able to get guests because that can be a huge challenge to bring in somebody yeah. all the time um and are you going to be committed to it how long are you going to be doing it for yeah um, can you be consistent can you be consistent Ad- advice on equipment Over. equipment um you can you can get a like a nice nice equipment on amazon all in like one package uh, which is like how I kind of did it. And then I just had like, you know, some things laying around from just making music and all that kind of stuff that I'll like, you know, use to just help it out. But otherwise it's like, um, yeah, if you go on Amazon, you can get stuff for like a pretty good, decent yeah. deal between anywhere between like 200 to if you want like nicer stuff, you're looking at, um, you know, five, 600. But uh, if you want to take it seriously, like, Go for it, yeah. Yeah, and like model, I think you kind of said this, but like model it based on your favorite podcast. And if you don't listen to podcasts, I don't think you should start a podcast. Yeah, I think well, not just have... not just your favorite, like or because what you might you might at... really like cereal, but yeah. I mean you oh, don't yeah. know how to solve a murder. True, true. Yeah, um, and, but and something like cereal at? took like a year and a half for development. Like you can't go in yeah. with like wanting to have this whole thing without having a backstory. Like sometimes podcasts take a lot of research. So say you need to get your research done, get your research yeah. done first. If that's what you're into. If yeah. you like, you know, criminal justice, then yeah, go for it. But it's whatever you like to talk about, what you're good at talking about or what you want to learn about. Um, base it around that and invite people that kind of, uh, you know, take the conversation further. Um, okay. Uh, we'll do one more. Uh, K Mood from Snapchat says how do y'all feel talking about religion and spirituality is it taboo or do you get backlash and i'm paraphrasing because this is a long thing but okay um you start for us you want me to start okay uh religion okay so she she's asking or he sorry i keep doing this (laughs) um how do you how do y'all i guess because i i guess guys I feel like would ask questions like, you know, are you still doing the hokey pokey, whatever. <laughs> but, um, There's nothing wrong with this guy asking this question. Which, yeah, maybe he's like, yeah, this is a serious question. Like he wants to know. But um, okay, so K-Mood is asking specifically, how do y'all feel talking about religion and spirituality? Um, I think if that is something that you live your life by, uh, if that's something that's important to you, yeah, you should definitely talk about it. Um for me personally, it uh, my religion, you know, is always uh, apparent, I guess, um, and so it is important to me, and I will bring it up in certain ways. But I'm not ever going to like try to say what it is um, or because I'm not a scholar. Yes. I'm not going to advocate for it. I'm not going to um, advocate or like tell enforce. People. Well, e- even just like I'm not going to try to like you know say you're tell like people, the person for oh okay represent. like the spokesperson yeah okay okay, okay I'm okay. just saying these are my experiences mm-hmm. with this but um, I don't think I think you know coming up in this new age it's funny uh, I think this comedian Rami Yusuf he said something similar to this he was saying that you know um, it used to be that it would be hard for a gay person to come out to religious people. And then when he moved to California, he's a religious person who finds it hard to come out to gay people. <laughs> and I think that's definitely true in this generation because it can be hard to, you know, put your religion out there. People uh, are so, you know, different now that it's like it becomes kind of this negative thing to be religious. Right. Uh, but, you know, like religion to me is very personal. And um, yeah, I don't ever want to, like, be putting it out in a way that says uh i don't want to be representing you know the religion in its fullest or whatever it's just my experiences with it well right. put well yeah. put yeah and do you want to go shams you can go so i like to know that like i'm a muslim but i also don't think that i need to like constantly push on everyone but my experience is slightly different because i was the president of the msa for two years so the muslim student association yeah for the university of baltimore and In a way, it almost kind of makes you a spokesperson. But because I went to a school with like not very many Muslims, the but we had a pretty good turnout for a lot of our events and stuff. 
and that was because I would really advocate for the ethics and morals with it and like the story behind it for example we used um one of our events as a mental health event and we were able to incorporate like you know islam and mental health while also inviting people from nami and you know just different people who can share things so i like to use islam as a lifestyle and as kind of as my moral compass but yeah. I'm not going to be the one. I'm not going to be the Haram police. I'm not. Right. Going to, yeah. Like yeah. I'm. I, I think use your it. job. You were also, you know, teaching people for the first time what it is. Right. And so you're doing a lot of like uh, middle teaching. work. Yeah. Middle it's work, it's yeah. like you know, um, I'm going to have people who are non-Muslims who have no exposure to Islam, right. and then I'm also going to have like Muslims who are coming to learn more about their religion. Mm -hmm. So you kind of had. I kind of had to find a way to like incorporate both while it's still appealing to both and create a good campus life. So, you know, I'm pretty comfortable talking with religion. I just am not comfortable with, like, going into too much about it instead yeah. of it, yeah. things I'm not comfortable talking about when I'm not knowledgeable because, yeah. like you said, I'm not a spokesperson. Right. Yeah. Shamir, why don't you take the second part of this? Um, is it, you know, talking about it, is it taboo or do you get backlash? Why don't you talk about that part of it? Um, I don't, for me, honestly, I don't think it's that taboo. Um, I mean, I'll talk about, like you said, I'll talk about my experiences and whatnot. I think it's very, it's a good discussion when you're comparing religions with other pe religious people and of different religions. Like you'll, I think it's really fun doing that. Like, okay, this is what my religion is mostly from my experience. Mm. And they'll talk about their experiences. Like I have a coworker who's Mormon and I thought Mormons were crazy. Like, but when I, the more I talk to him, there's so many similarities mm -hmm. and like, I'm like, wow, like they're kind of like Muslim in their own, not Muslim. I, I don't know how to say it, but they're kind of like very, their religious. lifestyle, their like lifestyle is yeah. very religious and, and strict, I guess. And I mean, everyone has their own interpretations. That's why we don't consider ourselves spokesperson of the religion, mm -hmm. but I think we're openly uh, okay with talking about our own experiences and like being known as Muslim. Like, yeah, being known like, as yeah, Muslim. Muslim. Like, I think that's cool. You know, title to kind of have, but that's like kind of how Dave Chappelle um, has said that he feels about it. Is like, you know, yeah. people ask him often, "Why don't you talk about your religion?" Um, and he says that my religion's perfect, but I'm not, and I don't want, yeah, yeah. you know, me to be a representation of it. They're like, and I think a lot of people are like that. Um, Aziz Ansari, I mean, he's not really, you know, Muslim, but his parents are Muslim. Yeah. And he, I, I recently found out he was Muslim, and it's like, why didn't he talk about that earlier? And it's because mm. you know he's a very not you know clean person, and he doesn't want to misrepresent the religion. Which even if you're not like. And you could talk about it like that's okay too. Yeah, that's okay too. Yeah, because there's no, you know, there's nobody that you have the right to do it. Yeah, that's that's the, the point, right. and yeah. that's what's great about living in this country is you always have the right to live your life the way that you want to live it, um, which is great. How about backlash? How do you deal with backlash? Whether when people say you know um, how you're talking about it, I feel really bad personally. I feel mm -hmm. really bad. Like I feel like I did something wrong, but then. I, I guess like friends or like family members they kind of reassure me like do you feel like you did bad and then if I you know analyze the situation then it's like oh maybe I didn't do that bad is like, this specific to Khadija yeah this is like a video we did so Khadija is a music video a, a song that they had and they had some Islamic references in it, and they got a they got some of a backlash for it yeah and for me I, at first I didn't care but then I kept reading the comments and it was really getting to me and it was a lot of backlash. They're like, oh, you guys should never have kids. You guys should not breed. Oh, my gosh. And, like, you guys I think should it was be more. I think it, I think it had less to do about religion than it did about, like, people saying why brown guys are this and oh, that cr and are cringing. And but, like, a lot of people but so, yeah, were, too. Some like, people even my, when I played for my mom, she was like, why would you use these words? Yeah. Like, and I kind of felt disappointed. I was like, oh, dang, like, I'm very sorry. I was like. I didn't mean to, you know, disrupt, you know, but cause this one, yeah, you guys didn't use the words in a wrong way. Like you guys, but the context, the I can kind of see why they were kind of slightly stressed over. Okay. I think at the end of the day for stuff like that, if I didn't put, if I didn't, what I, when I was writing it, if I, if it wasn't that deep to me, then yeah, the way that you're interpreting it, like 
it shouldn't be that deep and either. You can interpret anything to be bad. Exactly. Like, like a people children's were breaking book. down yeah. these lyrics and they were like saying, well, if you um, think about it this way, uh, it could be interpreted this way, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, dude, it's not that serious. Like one of the lines that I said in it <laughs> was... Me. Um, I yeah. said this to them. Yeah, it was It was saying that... Um, what was the line? Like... Uh, if she if she does it yeah no it, it, it basically if she does it fast all 30 days then she's not the right girl for you and i was like well if right. a girl is fasting all 30 days she's probably too young for you bro because and, and that's something that i didn't um yeah because she would have she'd be on her period and you're not supposed to fast on your period um and so like when i was when i wrote that down i wasn't like oh yeah i should actually make it you know 30 days but not consecutively yeah. uh, like i'm not gonna say that <laughs> right, right the point is when we say when you're explaining um the month of ramadan to somebody who doesn't understand what it is you you say like you know we fast for 30 days um and everybody like the the girls like they're supposed to still make up those days that mm -hmm. they miss yeah. from the 30 days so that it can be 30 days in total i was just pointing out and how so, it could be perceived right right and I mean, they, like, there was a few people that perceived it that way. I'm like, yo, like, it's it's not that serious. You're still fasting for 30 days. Um, I I don't need to explain this. So like, yeah, yeah, I don't I don't let it. Can I take this as a girl though, real quick? Backlash. Yeah. Can I? Yeah. yeah. Can I? Can I? Can I talk about the intro video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, ahead, like, you know how we have the intro video for this podcast, and we're all, like, throwing ice cream on each other. If you it's, haven't seen it, it's on YouTube. Yeah, on it's in this episode, in the beginning of this episode. Right. And basically, we're throwing ice cream on each other, blah, blah, blah. And as a Muslim girl, and the only girl of this group, it was, you know, we started getting random things. Even one of our friends said that his brother asked if I was, quote, unquote, liberal, but like didn't say anything about them and yeah, frost yeah. brought up the point that if it was reversed like and there's two girls and one guys would they ask if the guy is liberal right and no, so they wouldn't yeah they would still ask basically if the girls are liberal two guys and amber well us two and amber in a bathtub throwing it's, ice cream yeah and, and it was supposed to be relevant to yeah. you know what we're doing and stuff and so just generally i could see how like even that stuff it didn't relate well to the Muslim Student Association people that I know, because I know a lot of people through that. And like not a lot of them kind of gave a reaction when they do typically kind of interact with the stuff I post and mm -hmm. stuff. And that was kind of a decision I had to make to kind of say, I know what I'm doing. I know what my intention is. And if you take it the wrong way, that's beyond my concern. And I'm going to do what I need to do to excel. Right. So, And the concept behind that is like, you know, being in kind of an ice cream bowl but we chose to do it in a tub yeah. and we're uh we all are eating our own flavors in the beginning and not sharing but then mm -hmm. um we throw them at each other because the whole point of this podcast is you know don't just focus on your own beliefs and your own system of doing things but also explore other people's and be open to them and um i know that's like um a, you know a a very, you have to be you have to be like you have to get that creatively and that's obviously we left that open for anybody to interpret we weren't just being like oh yeah it'd be funny if we threw ice cream yeah. at each other but you know there is a meaning behind everything that we do and um if you if you got that cool if you interpret it a different way like yeah. that's awesome too um yeah. but obviously like when we make these decisions uh we're aware of um you know what could happen how we would mm -hmm. be perceived but at the end of the day it's about intentions and um you know at, when i trust the people that i work with um and they trust me it's like there's nothing beyond that um, circle for me personally that matters um, about how people are seeing it when they don't know the situation in its entirety. Right. So. And if and if they misinterpret it past that, it's like you haven't dug deep enough and I can't do anything to change that yeah. unless you listen to the show. Mind. Like you'll get it. Yeah. yeah. Get, if and you, I mean, just generally, you have to Muslim give girls a do typically get more of a backlash. And, no doubt. Girls in general, but on top up. of that, Muslim girls. Yeah. And then even further, I think like black Muslim girls get yeah, it the worst, which is, I've heard yeah. stories from, mm -hmm. you know, friends um, that are black Muslim and women. And they, I think, you know, yeah, they, I, I, praise them like crazy because they have to deal with a lot most definitely uh, but girls in general um any any final remarks we got we this got was a dark no We're it wasn't dark. dark i think it was important it was um, important but yeah it wasn't as usual like but no. it's always more, great when serious. at the end of all these things when like things like this happen shams just comes up to me he's like hey amber i'm sorry in parentheses from society <laughs> right right <laughs> that's yeah. the best part because like you guys are really great about like being like nah you got this amber yeah because I th like women are strong it's it's yeah. insane that they still get 
crazy stuff, but like women are, I think, stronger than guys and they make great leaders. I don't care what anybody has to say, like facts. <laughs> At me, I don't care. <laughs> um okay so uh that about wraps it up uh for the strange exchange for today i hope you guys liked it let us know if you do let us know if you want more um and you're always free to send us questions it doesn't have to be just this uh one time or the next strange ex exchange but we'll answer your questions send them to our email yeah email us strange flavors podcast at gmail.com and um also just be make uh, make sure to uh follow us on facebook we're on twitter and instagram go do the giveaway do the do the giveaway uh you're gonna get a free shirt it's super easy um, leave us a review yeah. and yeah thanks for listening to another episode of Strange Flavors it's been another week another flavor a little less stranger we'll see you next time it's just a beat behind some thoughts that I used to can now I like to open up and spread it like I do my jam stand with me let the sunshine got my skin tan hot boy feel me OG out from Pakistan uh I'm rather friendly sorry